Resilience, Julie Hooker, 2022. The second piece I wanted to show you in more detail is my piece called Resilience, which is based on a weeping willow tree. One of the dominant traits amongst women in my family seems to be resilience. Um, looking into the lives of my grandmothers, something that has become more and more obvious is their ability to face anything that life throws at them. And it seems to feed into their making through their ability to keep working at mastering their chosen crafts. It's something that my daughter and I have certainly inherited, but it's difficult to portray. It was this resilience that I wanted to capture in this piece. The piece resolves, revolves around the story of Florence Helena, my paternal grandmother. She lost her mum at a young age and her father, unable to cope, deserted the family, leaving her to raise her three younger siblings. The resilience that she showed through her early life, um, later surviving the Second World War and the difficult years that followed with three young children, um, really inspired me and she ultimately managed to build a successful family business with my grandfather and have 10 grandchildren, um, 16 grand, great-grandchildren and three great-great-grandchildren and we're still counting. This is a huge family tree that continues to grow and thrive. I've chosen to depict a tree as a metaphor for resilience and particularly a weeping willow. Although their roots are shallow, they thrive in difficult areas and offer shade and protection. Nan had a huge weeping willow at the bottom of her garden. It shaded the orchard, allowing the apple trees enough light to grow, but providing a lovely shady area to sit or play in the summer. The tiny leaf buds, um, which are tied on, really, really small knots, kind of suggest that point after the winter where you think the tree has died, um, and then you take a closer look and see those really, really tiny little leaf buds just coming through with all the hope and showing the resilience of the tree. The tree itself is created in the same way as the hanging roots piece using the five straw spiral with core plaiting technique, um, but using my homemade cordage rather than traditional straw. I chose to mount the piece on a log. Um, it suggested to me the situation where you cut a tree down and it continues to grow. Um, again, showing the true resilience of the tree. When making the piece, I chose to use her old sewing scissors and some of the supplies from her sewing box. Um, I must admit, it did make me laugh a little bit to be using her scissors and notice the sellotape on the handle. Um, she could easily afford to get things mended, but she always made do and mend. And I think that kind of says a lot about the woman. It was really nice to use her tools to make the piece. And it was almost like getting her to help in some way, which I really like the idea of.